More than 5 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease. It is the sixth leading cause of death in the U.S. and the only disease among the top 10 causes that cannot be cured, prevented, or even slowed. And for one family in Barrington, it changed their entire lives. Mike Montecalvo has their story. VJ has made me a better person. That's really what marriage is all about. It's a bond that was cemented 38 years ago. Chuck and VJ Anastasia have three beautiful children and countless friends. Was it love at first sight? Yes. He's my best companion. They had a beautiful home and a boat they loved to share. Life was good until VJ started to forget simple things. You know, she's got a degree in engineering, a degree in math, and forgetting where she parked her car wasn't typical for her at all. After a series of tests, VJ was diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia, which affects the areas of the brain associated with personality, behavior, and language. We had a very hectic life with three kids growing up in the house and boating and all, you know, all those kind of things, and we don't do those things anymore. While each case is different, the illness has many of the same symptoms as Alzheimer's. Poor judgment, speech difficulties, loss of balance and movements, mood changes, and memory loss. According to the Alzheimer's Association, the cause is unknown. There is no cure, and FTD may account for 20 to 50 percent of dementia cases in people younger than age 65. VJ was diagnosed in 2013 at the age of 56. The disease has completely changed their lives. You know, make a simple meal, read together, you know, going to church. But Chuck misses some of the simple things we may take for granted. It's the conversation every day, um, having somebody to talk to about your day that I think is the hardest. She's still the same person though. She is, she is. And that's one of the things that I have to remember, you know, all the, she doesn't talk as much as she used to and she doesn't do the activities that she used to do, but she's still the same person that I married 38 years ago and the person that I fell in love with. Such a sweet story. To tell us more this morning about Alzheimer's, we have with us Kate Spinella, Development Director for the Alzheimer's Association, and our very own Mike Montecalvo, who will be hosting the Providence Walk this weekend as WPRI 12 is also a proud media sponsor. Good morning, Mike. Hi, Brenda. Nice to see you, sir. Kate. Good morning. Pleasure to welcome you as always. You know, Thank I want to you. open up with you, sir. I've, I've known uh, the Anastasias for a number of years, uh, and to see their love still coming through. It's striking, really. Is that one of the things that you first witnessed or that struck you when you met them? And uh, a couple of things. One, that he just doesn't want to give up. Yeah. You know, he wants to be her caregiver. She does have help. But I think the other thing, too, he said something that kind of reminded me when we went through with my mother, the conversation. And so many people who live with Alzheimer's, you know, they can't have a conversation anymore. Sometimes they just sit there. VJ can say a few things. Right. And that was the thing that really struck me. How many families are dealing with that? Right, and their faith is just unwavering. I mean, they continue to push forward. You can tell that the love is stronger than ever, but it's the faith and it's the assistance of people that keeps them moving. And the other thing too, Brendan, sometimes when you're in this situation, you really don't want to tell your story. You kind of go in a shell. And Chuck and VJ wanted to tell their story. You know, I've been doing this for a long time. When I started doing the stories, people were in their 70s and 80s. Now we're in, you know, people are in their 50s right. and they're much younger. Sure. So. And Kate, that's why we need people to come out. You know, the walks are a great opportunity to show that, hey, we can do something. We're supporting these individuals. And it's, it's a, a difficult day, I would imagine, in some regard, but also very positive because everyone comes together. So it's... It it, number one, it's a fundraiser. We are trying to raise funds to find a cure to support people with the disease and their loved ones and caregivers. But it's also a community. When you come out to see the walk, certainly um, we have three. This one's in Providence. When you have 2,500, 3,000 people coming together saying, we are going to kick this disease, this diabolical disease, you're no longer isolated. You feel like you're part of something. And with Chuck shining a light on his, um, the way he's living his life right now, we want to help. Sure, he's a great testament to that resiliency of the human spirit, the fact that he continues to push forward and caregiving. He is caring for his wife, but there are countless people across the world, really, in a similar situation, Mike. Yeah, and they're unca unpaid caregivers. Right. You know, my dad, you know, cared for my mom. You know, you see so many stories uh, like that. Um, you know, why 
I think the first thing is, Kate, that you don't want to put somebody in a facility or a right. nursing home. You try to do it. But in the end, you can't do it all by yourself. You have to have some help. And let's talk about if people want to participate, Kate, what they need to know when, where, and registration. So um, this weekend, we are taking registrations through uh, Saturday at alz.org slash ri slash walk. Um, we will take registrations on the day of, but to make their time a little bit easier, it would be better to, to sign up online. Um, but anyone can get involved. There's plenty of room at Roger Williams Park. And there's a tremendous sense of goodwill that entire day, Mike. Exactly. And you know, they had a team called Heart of Goal. If you saw the uh, story, so that was the name of their boat. Right. So their team, so you can have fun by, you know, naming your team. They did, I think, $7,300. So they were they one did. of the top Thanks. fundraisers, too. Well, we certainly wish you the best with the walk. Thanks, and thank you very much both for being here. Certainly an endlessly laudable pursuit, what you're doing to help these folks and a, a great spirit of and sense of camaraderie and friendship going on here. If you guys out there would like to learn more to help continue to spread awareness to end Alzheimer's and if you'd like to get involved in the walk this coming weekend we will have all the details and a link to the site Kate mentioned at roadshow.com